Hello, everyone. This is uh, Karis Alexander with Deep Truth Media. I wanted to uh, do an update on the solar activity. It's quite profound. On the 88 portal, which I thought was quite interesting, um, I'm sharing a different perspective of how I'm able to um, understand the energies uh, on a much deeper level. And I never um, looked at the uh, amplitude of the um, Schumann resonance um, from the perspective of the 8-8 portal. So I thought this was quite interesting. The energies were very intense yesterday. We had um, massive thunder and lightning here late in the evening, and it was just so profound, just as the energies were very, very profound. So as we can see here, we have a lot of white uh, noise, which tells us that the uh, solar activity was quite profound. And um, then we, if we go to the amplitude, we can see here that the amplitude on 88 was at 74. Now, the regular um, amplitude is normally at 7.8 hertz down here. But this is, again, way off the charts. Well, interesting thing that I found out was, um, because I've never looked at the uh, solar activity in comparison to the amplitude in relation to the 8-8 portal. You know, the 8-8 portal is the uh, Lion's Gate portal from the surface level uh, metaphysical standpoint. Um, those in the uh, light workers and, uh, you know, in the new age movement, look at this particular portal, the 8-8 uh, date as a gateway portal called the Lion's Gate. But I'm just showing you from a different perspective that on this 8-8, day, uh, the Schumann resonance was off the charts. And uh, we can definitely see there was a lot of white here. So that would indicate that there was solar activity on this particular day. So the sun is actually traversing through uh, our, um, our solar system, right? And it's for traversing through a nakshatra, which is called S. Ashalasia. Now, I have two planets, Mercury and Venus, in Ashalasia Nakshatra. And I think probably because of that, I was impacted a little bit more than maybe others, maybe uh, yesterday. Because the transiting Venus and the Sun were in Ashalasia as well. Um, Ashalasia Nakshatra has a lot to do with um, spiritual enlightenment. Uh, it has a lot to do with um, uh, magnetic power, mes the ability to mesmerize. It has a d the uh, a association with serpent power and uh, mystical energies, um, natural inherent power. But uh, Kundalini has also a reference to Kundalini energy. So Ashlesha Nakshatra, this is the, uh, the 27 or 28 nakshatras that uh, surround our solar system. And our planets go through these nakshatras at the base level. Uh, these nakshatras are not talked about. They're more readily talked about now. But, you know, they are the base layer for the signs of the astrological system and the planets that move through these signs are actually moving through these 27 or 28 nakshatras. These are all energetic portals and they all have different energy uh, to them. So as the planets go through them, they're sort of being transmutated. Uh, they're going through a transmutation when they go through these nakshatras. It's very interesting. And that gives us kind of the palette or the underlying understanding of how we are also different because our planets um, may be traversing through specific signs or maybe in specific signs when we are born, but they are also in different nakshatras and that creates 
the quality of character or differences that we each may may have. So I, I found this uh, nakshatra quite interesting because obviously it's a very powerful portal type of energy or very powerful energy. And uh, I would like to say that all the energies from all the different um, signs and all the energies that make up the different nakshatras uh, all have very powerful um, uh, tones or um, importance um, in terms of the makeup and the constitution of our universe, our physical world, and our individuated consciousness that experience itself through these physical bodies. And so this is a very powerful time as we learn to understand. Um, again, I'm just sharing a different perspective here, but I find the connections here quite interesting. And I thought to share with you at a deeper level how this 8-8 portal or the Lion's Gate portal underlying on a surface level can mean certain things, but also on other levels, uh, as we raise our frequency and move into higher states of consciousness, we're going to be able to see things from a different perspective. And so in the coming uh, weeks and days, uh, I will be sharing more about my experiences with this alternative economy that's evolving through uh, this new technology called Bitcoin and how this alternative economy is simultaneously going to be uh, seamlessly integrating uh, into our traditional or through our traditional um, economic system and how there it will create a, a duality of sorts within our very clear uh, distinction of a duality of sorts between um, our traditional system and this new alternative system that is, is, is coming and, and will merge in with our traditional system and, and, and how I'm becoming um, uh, more aware of this uh, alternative economy and how I will be um, working with the alternative cur uh, currencies and alternative economy in terms of um, positioning myself to not only thrive but and or survive uh, the transition that we are going through, but um, it's truly uh, a very interesting time uh, as we see the, the transfer of wealth um, that will uh, masticize or materialize itself um, over the next uh, five to ten years. We'll see the biggest transfer of wealth in human history. And we, and you and I, can be a part of that transfer of wealth and um yeah so that that's quite interesting again it's a, just another way of uh allowing ourselves to experience um this physical dimension in ways that um maybe will match our frequency as we raise our frequency maybe we are to live uh in higher states of abundance uh through this uh, alternative economy and uh, that's just one way that we can we can do this. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share this little piece with you. I hope that all of you are doing well. It is a very challenging time. It really depends um, where you are on your journey, how these planetary forces are impacting you will be different for each and every one of us. So just be aware of that and do the best that you can to take care of yourself during these times because the energies are intense and how do we learn or how do we metabolize these frequencies uh, as they are transmuting our biological vehicles how do we um, work with these energies uh, and become greater um, stewards of our individuated consciousness and our collective consciousness. So I hope uh, this sharing finds you well. And again, the amplitudes, 
In this Schumann Resonance, we're again at 74. That's off the charts. Remember, the natural Schumann Resonance frequency is 7.8 hertz. That's the heartbeat of the Earth. And if the Schumann Resonance uh, amplitude is at 74, well, that's off the charts again. And see, it's come down as well. So I'll leave you with that. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them. If there's any way that I could support you with an astrology reading, uh, by all means, or an energy healing session, uh, by all means, uh, reach out to me and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.